Man. What a game, bro. Like, it's frustrating right now to be a Celtics fan, bro. It's like we're not playing consistently. So, like, this one hurts, bro. This one really, really hurts. So, forgot to do the intro. What's up? If you haven't seen me already, you know why, why I'm here. I gotta talk about this game. Um, I'm just skipping the intro because I don't know what's wrong with our team right now. So, Cleveland ends up coming back and taking this game 91-89. to And I have no clue what the hell happened. We were up. 15 going to the fourth and then it just erupted we let them go on something like a 20 to 2 run and we found ourselves um in a tie game for most of the last five minutes and then they end up winning this game by two it's just a lot there's a it's a mess it's just a big mess this team has a lot to um figure out and credit to the Cavaliers by the way um even though I'm very frustrated they earned this win they deserved this they played harder than us they made the great plays down the stretch they forced turnovers they played great defense they played great when it mattered doesn't matter how you start it matters how you finish and they finished the game better than we did they didn't give up and they're now nine and five and we dropped six and seven. Um, I do have no idea what's wrong with Tatum. Um, eight for twenty-two tonight, one for eight from three. He had six turnovers. He is just playing the worst basketball I've ever seen him play over the last five years. He's been in the league four or five years. He really needs to get his shit together. Um, we're we can't be losing games like this. We really can't. So, I have some some of the uh, highlights from the last five minutes of the game. I got to break those down for you, like I said I would in the other recap videos, because um, I want to be more in depth and uh, explain what might have happened here in the end of the game. So, I'll have some footage from the last five minutes for you guys, and I'll break it down. Just a tough loss, man. Valentine. <laughs> Rubio to the bucket, dumps off to Mobley, Mobley banks and scores as Evan Mobley ties this game at 81. On this play right here, Ricky Rubio makes an amazing pass past Robert Williams, who was up in the air. Passes to Evan Mobley, who had so many big, big scores here in the fourth quarter. That's why I have to give him some recognition here. He's a legit candidate for Rookie of the Year this season. I love the way he plays the game. Definitely want to react to more Cavs highlights just because of him and he's part of the reason why the Cavs came out with this win he played very well he ended up with about 20 points three blocks and about 10 boards but this was a big bucket that tied the game at 81 apiece Tatum pressure by Valentine threw it got it hit Langford picked off by Osmond Jetty down the lane puts it in this was just a terrible play right here from Tatum. He throws the ball, gets uh, picked off by Osman, and Osman was a very big part of this Cavs comeback. He brought a lot of energy. He takes this one coast to coast, finishes, tough finish layup, puts them up too. And this was one of um, Tatum's six turnovers. He's just in a funk, and I hope he just gets out of it immediately. 35 and counting. Tatum turns the corner. Mobley's there. Tatum gets it to go. He has 19. Although I am very frustrated in Tatum. Not even just him. Just the team just played horrible tonight. Um, I don't know if it's just because it was the second night of a back-to-back. -back. Guys were tired. We had three guys out. Um, Horford, Richardson, and Jalen Brown. But Tatum makes a nice play here. He puts us up to um, 
nice little floater over Mobley. Um, just a good finish. Um, I had to give him one good highlight in there, you know. But nonetheless, we lost the game. Osmond paws at Schroeder. Shot clock down to eight. Schroeder looking to go to work down the alley. Puts it up and puts it in. Schroeder has 28. So before this play, Evan Mobley calmly knocks down two free throws. The Cavs are tie the game at 85. And then this is when Dennis Schroeder is at his best. He drives right past Osmond. He has the speed and he uses body well to finish. And he ended up having 28. He led the way in scoring. Um, he's doing what he can. It's just not enough. It just really isn't. Um, and we're going to have to need more guys to contribute. Just play as a team. And we need to bounce back Monday as we play them once again. And it's just going to be a tough game. Because um, they got momentum riding in. And we really needed to take this game. Um, like I said, I've already explained. Just a lot of things went wrong. Mobley with his back to Tatum. Mobley toward the basket. Lays it in. He makes it look oh so easy. The rookie has stepped up big time in this fourth quarter. They just feed Mobley on this play. Tatum is just too small for him. Mobley gets in the weight room. And ties the game once again this kid is just good um i really am rooting for him to be a rookie of the year this year and he's just a solid big man definitely a great addition on this Cavs team mobley fires garland arrives on the scene salvages the possession 10 on the shot clock garland's watched by langford he directs traffic garland long three Tip, rebounded by Osmond, third chance for the Cavs, back to Rubio. They got to make it happen this time. Rubio directs traffic, upstairs, yes. oh, yes. mercy. Yes. Rubio finds Allen at the rim, a thunderous dunk has given the Cavs an 89-87 lead. This stuff just cannot happen. There's a minute left in the game, Mobley misses a shot, um, they get an offensive rebound. Garland misses another one, they get it again, and then it leads to Rubio passing to Allen for an alley-oop slam, puts him up too. Those are, we can't let them get second and third chance opportunities, because they're going to get it one of these times. Rubio throws an absolute great pass, Jared Allen throws it down, and puts us down too. And those offensive rebounds were big, and big part of why we lost this game, and the Cavs came out on top. It's a late Kyle Kuzma three that did in the Cavaliers in that ball game. Tatum knocked down Osmond, nothing called. 89. JB Bickerstaff wants a timeout. Celtics down two. Tatum gets the ball. He takes Osmond and he takes his arm. I thought he may have extended it. They didn't call anything. He calmly knocks down the jumper, ties it at 89. Um, he at least he made the shot. I was the way he's been playing. He I didn't know if he was gonna make that, but when he's in his bag, he's making that. But that was one of the only eight shots. Eight shots he made. Um, doesn't matter. We don't win, but uh, that was a game tying shot, and obviously, well, you guys will see what happens. <laughs> Garland, guarded by Langford, picked up by Smart on the switch. Backs up. Darius Garland going to work. Through some contact and drew a foul. Celtics did have one to give. Garland has one more coming. Can he make it a two-point game? On this play, Garland drives on Smart. He draws a foul. He had the right idea. Drives right into Smart. Um, Smart had to foul. He got right by him. Clear foul, he knocks down both of the shots, puts the Cavs up two with about nine seconds left, leaving the Celtics with the last shot. They take a timeout, and what happens next, you guys will see. Schroeder, picked up by Osmond. Schroeder trying to set Jetty up, stops, high arcing jumper, missed it, and the Cavaliers! 
Rangers come all the way back and take out the Celtics. Celtics out of the timeout. They give it to Schroeder. Um, Schroeder's been the hot hand all night. He takes a shot fading away. I mean, it's a tough shot. Um, this would have sent it to overtime. He hits rim, doesn't go in. Cavs win. Um, simple as that. Just a not a great shot. Um, that that's not a great look. Um, we couldn't come up with a better play than that. I mean, the way we've been playing, I wouldn't even want to be going to overtime. Um, that shot would have sent it to overtime. We played the most overtime games than any team in the league, I believe, so far. Um, just a frustrating loss. Um, we'll look at the box score in the next clip, and we'll round out the video. All right. Well, the box score. Um, Tatum, eight for twenty-two, twenty-one points. We all know. I I've explained enough. Um, Schroeder, twenty-eight points. He had thirty-eight the other night against the Bucks. Um, in that win in overtime. Um, he's doing his job. The rest of the team isn't. Cavs, Garland, twenty-two. He had a very good first half. Um, Mobley, nineteen, very efficient, nine boards, played great defense. Ricky Rubio was big off the bench, although he was inefficient, he made some big plays. Um, Jared Allen, solid, just giving up, just giving good numbers. And the Cavs win 91-89. Even though the Celtics lost, um, as they're my favorite team, I still enjoy making these videos for you guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. Did leave a like, subscribe, comment what you want to see next. Um, next game is Monday. Against the Cavs, I'll have a recap on that. More reactions coming before then, though. Hope you all enjoy your Saturday night. And stay safe. See you on the next video. Peace.